Yeah, I want to show a little trick that I've been using with the zappers. I've been using these uh, 9.6 rechargeable, 9.6 volt rechargeable batteries. Now, this particular brand, Spider, some of the 9.6 volt rechargeable batteries do not fit in standard 9 volt cases. Now, with the bioelectric products, you got to unscrew the case. You can put even like the higher uh, milliampers type ones that have more capacity. But these are still good. These are still good. These are actually good for like the paintball guns and stuff and games and stuff. See, what happens is with 9 volt batteries, every rechargeable battery is designed with um, 1.2 volt increments. That's just the nature of it. Like if you buy standard D cell batteries, they're actually 1.2 volts. You buy double A, they're 1.2 volts. They're in increments of 1.2 volts. So it goes 1.2, 2.4, 3.6, 4.86, uh, 7.2, 8.4. Usually they're 8.4. So you don't get a lot of power out of the zappers when you're using that. And you don't want to use Duracells or Averetis or Rayovax alkaline because you keep you know, buying them for 5 bucks a pop. Now these are more money, but you can use them, you can recharge them several hundred times. But they're just as strong as an alkaline. An alkaline actually puts out a little over 10 volts when it's brand new, like a high quality alkaline. Now these will put out even more than that when they're charged up good. But I want to show you, I'm using the Extreme Zapper. This is a Hold the Clark Zapper. I got it on 30,000 30, hertz. This has three frequencies, um, 2,500 hertz. 30,000 hertz and 15 hertz, which is the Don Croft frequency, whatever. Uh, but it's it takes one battery. But you know, normally these don't put out much more than nine volts. Now I'm going to show you here. Here's the oscilloscope. You're looking at two. Now I got these were just charged up. They're like pretty close to. They're about 11 volts actually, almost or 10.8, 11 volts. So when this thing's putting out, it's actually putting out about 10 volts. So you got two, four, six, eight, ten, and it's above the ten line by you know it's probably putting out about eleven volts almost. It's probably putting out about eleven volts. That's about what I had the batteries charged up to. So, you know, sometimes you know you see these zapper specifications and they put out so much voltage and all this type of stuff that you could actually improve them, and I haven't seen any kind of harm doing using these nine point six volt batteries. In the zappers, I've been using these for years. Um, I've been using these for years. Like I said, this brand Spider, they will fit in a compartment. Now this thing has a little compartment in the back that you know you push this button in, this slides down, and this slides off. And um, it, you know, you can't use the larger size 9.6 volt batteries, but you can use these ones by Spider. But it makes this little zapper even more powerful, so it's putting out more than 10 volts. Now, when I use this with the bioelectric products, I can even use the ones that are even a little bit oversized in dimension, and they have more milliamps, and they last longer. There's two of them that go in that. That thing puts out over 13 volts, and normally with Duracells, it puts out about 12. It puts out about 13 and a half with these, with these when they're fully charged. Now, this normally puts out about 9 volts or a little over 9 volts with a good brand new Duracell, but when you're using these 9.6 volt batteries it's putting out a little over 10 so you know I'm gonna state that you know if you're gonna do a lot of this zapping or whatever the heck it is these are the kind of batteries to get these 9.6 volt batteries and if you have the case, like I said I'm gonna repeat it again because if you buy any 9 volts 9.6 volt volt battery I think I have one that's called like power up EX they're just a little bit bigger in dimension they will not fit in like a, uh, a snap-in case, like where they snap in, but they'll fit in the, you know, the ones where you got to like, they're in there kind of like loose and they got extra room. But if you have to put them in where it's a tight compartment and just their exact dimensions, you can use this brand Spider, And um, it does it does make this thing noticeably stronger. So uh, I forgot to point out this tip because... You know, when you buy a zapper, like this one's a good deal. If you don't want to blow a lot of money and you want to just spend a little bit of money. Like, I don't sell this stuff. This is 59 I think it's $59 plus uh, 5 bucks shipping with the copper handhelds for this. And then you get this type of rechargeable battery. Um, and that's all you got to do. And uh, 
you know, it's... Well, I, I can't make claims on a deal, but, uh, you know, I, I think... Well, Holder Clark says, you know, really to see the benefits, you got to do it quite a bit. So, you know, I don't know, a lot of people just aren't going to do that. But I, I do a lot of zapping every day, and I think it does improve my energy levels. But uh, I just want to point this out because there's always this big spiel about zappers. My zapper puts out more than your zapper and blah, blah, blah. Well, you can get a little more out of them just by doing this. Simple little upgrade, real cheap, and you never have to buy batteries again. Or, well, after 500 recharges, then you're going to have to buy one. But, hey, if, 500, if you went through 500 uh, alkaline-type batteries um, at you know $4 a pop, <laughs> you went through a couple thousand dollars, right? So this is the way you want to do it. And if you use the standard rechargeable, repeating it, they're 8.4 volts. This thing's going to put out significantly less. It's putting out actually more voltage than a standard alkaline. It would put out like uh, a lot less than a standard alkaline. It just wouldn't do you any. It wouldn't do you much good. So I want to point this out because I think it's a simple tip, but it's an important tip. And um, I like this little zapper too, man. It's like really small and uh, compact. And uh, you get a little belt clip on here. And it's pretty neat. So, you know. Anyway, over and out, I figured to pan out this tip because I thought it was a pretty cool idea. I've been figuring these things out. And I got this scope. It's like, wow, neat little toy. I'm going to be uh, checking out um, in the future here how to, you know, this spooky thing, uh, how to set it up with the 11th harmonic and um as the the, the other wave and 100 percent positive offset and make sure i got it correct when i'm using this thing so anyway over now